Hello, everyone. My name is Alfred Cromwell. I am the founder and president of City Tutoring. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you and I thank you for your subscription. You have no idea. Um, you probably don't realize how much help you are to the mission of the channel. And so I am always very grateful. I wish I could meet you all, uh, honestly. And uh, maybe one day, you know, we could have some kind of reunion of sorts. But 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 thank you anyway for subscribing and for showing the the kindness. I mean, I'm just always I read I try to read as many comments as I can. I usually have a designated time because, as you know, some of you, I don't connect. all. I'm not connected all day. I'm not an Internet person, but uh, I'm very old school. I believe in having a life, a social life and all of that. But I try my best to, to read the comments. And it's just always shocking to me in a positive way how the kindness that the majority of you show. And those of you who do not show kindness, you know, there's still no censorship on the channel. You're more than welcome to leave your hatred. And it, it's only a reflection of who you are as a person. And I engage with some of you. You've seen it. I do answer some of the hate comments um, because I, I, I shouldn't do it because on the one hand, we, uh, it's a waste of time. But on the other hand, it's it, 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 it's kind of I have to admit, I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't somewhat entertain, in, entertaining uh, when some people try to insult me unsuccessfully, I might add. But if that's your if that's your speed, that's your speed. I grew up during a time. Some of you don't know this, but I grew up during a time when there was no such thing as sensitivity training. No such thing. And you had to deal with it. If someone was nasty to you, if someone was unpleasant, rude, you just had to deal with it. And I deal with you as you are. Uh, I don't need to be protected and I don't need uh, anyone's validation. If anything, you know, if you're if you, you just make a fool of yourself, I've already ridiculed some of you. Uh, it's a tiny minority of people. There, there's, there's always, of course, people who are very angry at life and they cannot escape the slavery in which they find themselves in. So they have to. So when they see a free man like me who answers to no one except to my own Lord and Savior, they, they really don't like that. that. That really bothers them. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about the, the properties of matrices. And some of you who are new to the channel, I know some of you have subscribed because of the, the social commentary, but I also do mathematics videos. And even if you're not a math person, I, I, I would ask that you stay. Maybe you won't understand all of the things that I say about mathematics, but at least you'll see a, a, the, the way mathematics should be taught and that it's been abandoned for a very long time. Because, you know, too much has been said in recent years about making mathematics accessible. But the way that it sounds to me is it, it's as if though mathematics were some unruly beast to be tamed by cartoons and slogans. And it's nonsense. Mathematics cannot bend to whim. Mathematics is a discipline. It is a rigorous and ancient discipline and it demands respect. And we live in an age where men, scammers and clowns, they speak to you like failed therapists. I don't want to mention an example because, as I said before, if I do mention the individual, I always get uh, there. There undoubtedly there are people who enjoy being lied to, and so whenever I mention the person, they say, "Oh, you you hate that person, and you're you're just this and that." And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give the person the publicity that they do not deserve, but I'm talking about people who tell you things like, "Oh." You forgot who you are, and they whisper this as though mathematics were a Disney film. When you you know when you have a grown man whispering into a webcam, like some digital life coach for the insecure, like he's reading bedtime affirmations to a frightened child. Well, all that is alchemy. Become a genius and a god by reading a book. What absurd adolescent nonsense. That's not mathematics. That is role play for people too lazy to open a proof and too vain to admit that they just might not be cut out for mathematics. And that's okay. And channels like that are not schools. They are a stage. It's content for the algorithmically broken. And th those who think watching someone else touch a textbook somehow makes them rigorous. But here, we do not cast spells. We do not engage in witchcraft and sorcery. We work, 
we prove, we respect and obey the discipline, and we humble ourselves. So today, we're going to turn our attention to some more properties of matrices. It's a system governed by laws as fixed and indifferent as gravity. You're not going to find them taught in your local public schools, not properly at least. If you're lucky, if you're blessed in some way, uh, you won't even get the, the rigorous definitions. But some, I mean, some of the schools, they confuse multiplication with decoration and students are praised for guessing, as we've seen in some of my other videos. But here we are not interested in guesses. We are interested in the truth and truth, which comes from deduction and not from observation is possible only by way of complete unyielding precision. Pure mathematics is precise or else it is nothing. Mathematics is difficult because unlike any other discipline, it demands complete precision. You cannot fake it till you make it. You cannot either prove the theorem or you cannot. You can either prove the theorem or you cannot, I should say. Not the remotest possibility that you can bluff your way through it. And you know, I always thank God for allowing me to live in such a grand old house in the South where truth seems to settle best, I think. Because there's no noise here. There's not infernal noise. There's discipline. There's a structure. There's generations who have lived here before. And there's a quiet certainty that some things, like the laws of God and mathematics and honor, are simply not up for debate. The world outside is addicted to novelty. It feeds you uh, corn syrup, sugar, and screens. It tells you education should be part of the marketplace. We have liars, like I said before, who say things like everyone's a genius in their own special way. Well... That may be the story they tell you in your classroom or on, on your algorithm, but not here, not on this channel. We do not entertain here. We form, we strip away the nonsense and leave only what endures. God, logic, law, and clarity. Pure mathematics. So before you scroll away, before you return to your slop of reactions, filters, and pablum, you have to know this. There are places still, even in America today, where the old world is still alive. Some of us are still around. There are places where minds are sharpened and not pacified, where truth is not a performance, but a burden and an honor. Now, we have to get into the, uh, the properties of matrix operations. So these are the properties, the, a summary of the properties of matrix operations. So when you have square matrices of a fixed order N, we have really three fundamental operations. And two of these, the matrix addition and matrix multiplication, they, they are what we call binary operations on the set itself. Um, by the way, Dolciani's algebra book, she mentions uh, that multiplication, for example, is a binary uh, in addition, as well as a binary operation, M many of you watching this video have never heard the term. I am sure of it. If you go to a public school in America, you have not heard what the what the phrase binary operation is. Uh, so the sum or the product of two n by n matrices always produces another n by n matrix. And the third operation is often called scalar multiplication. You have a real number that multiplies a matrix. And again, you produce a matrix of the same order. And these operations, you have to be aware that they satisfy the following properties. You have associativity, you have commutativity, you have the additive identity, and you have additive inverse, and of course, the distributive property uh, with addition as well, with matrix addition. All right, so you wanna pause the video if you're not familiar with these, if you wanna write them down somewhere. And then the properties of matrix multiplication, they also have, uh, well, it also has associative property, but it, notice it does not have, in general, the commutative property does not hold. And then you have the identity element. And there exists an identity matrix we call I. A times I equals I times A equals A. 
and some matrices have an inverse. Usually it's labeled as a to the negative one. And it satisfies the following property. You also have distributive property as well. So thanks to these properties, you can now use them to solve what we call matrix equations of the form AX plus B equals C. And of course, A, B, and C have to be elements of the matrix uh, of N by N, N by N dimensions. And X in this case is the unknown matrix that you are looking for, provided, uh, very important, that A is invertible. And, the, and so the solution proceeds as follows. Usually th this is the form it takes. You have AX plus B equals C, then you can rewrite it as AX equals C minus B. And then you have the inverse, which is uh, the inverse of C minus B as well. And then finally, X equals the inverse of C minus B. So if you use these properties, and again, you might want to pause the video if you're not familiar with them. And if you want a, a sample problem, here is a sample problem I want you to try. I want you to try this problem uh, using the properties we just learned uh, that you just saw. And then let me know if you got the right answer. You want to pause the video and see if you got the correct answer. Well, this is your first step so far. You first, you could either find a determinant or you could do this first, right? Um, AX equals C minus B. And so that means we have to set, uh, subtract B from C, matrix B from matrix C. So 17, 24, negative 5, 26. If you take away 3, 1 and negative 1, 1, you end up with this matrix here. 14 and 23, negative 4 and 25. So this is what you should have so far. Then what you do is you, you can use the determinant that we talked about in previous videos. If you have, if this doesn't make sense to you, I suggest you watch the previous video on matrices. All right. And then you calculate the determinant of A. And remember from the previous video, we went over how to calculate the determinant. So you have two times one minus three times five. That gives you two minus 15. So the determinant here is negative 13, but the inverse is going to be one over the determinant. So you have this now. You multiply the, uh, the inverse, one over the determinant of A, times D, negative B, negative C, A. That is the form. And then you have one over negative 13, multiplied by one, negative three, negative five, two. That yields the following result. Negative one over 13, five over 13 in the first column. In the second column, you have 3 over 13 and negative 2 over 13. And then there's another step. And finally, you multiply everything. Once we have the determinant, you have x equals 1 over 13 times this. And you end up with the matrix negative 2, 6 in the first column, 4 and 5 in the second column. Let me know if that is the answer you, uh, you got. And uh, if you used any other strategy, also let me know. By the way, uh, a lot of you have asked me about uh, exercises. So yes, I do create exercises, hundreds of them. Um, it, it usually in PDF format, I can do that for you. I have been doing that for my students. So uh, if you do want a copy of a very rigorous exercises, I have, like I said, I have a lot of them. Uh, and you want to actually uh, take this seriously, just email me and we can send them to you. However, it's not free, right? Because we have had students in the past who email us and then they disappear. So unfortunately, we do have to charge for those uh, documents because if you decide to, uh, to solve those problems, we actually, you can actually have the right to return them to us and we can grade them for you and let you know how you are doing uh, from the city tutoring perspective. So if you are interested, my emails is citytutoringmaths with an S. Yes, with an S. Citytutoringmaths at gmail.com. I hope you all have a great Saturday. And if this video was useful to you, please subscribe and continue to subscribe, continue to support the mission of this channel. Thank you all.